Okay, so today is back to the render graph. Uh, let's see where I left off, what I need to do first. Alright. Render graph resource is still the old method. Okay. I want to change that to just be like resource handles and that. Uh, let's see where this is. This is actually probably being used across all of the jobs, if I can find them. Job, lit, image. Okay, yeah, this is still using the old one. We're, we're returning those because we're relying on that for... Hmm. Source image. I'm still checking the old state on the way through. Provider resource. Okay, so I need to do a number of things. First off, render graph, this is just going away. This is being replaced with, yes, this. Got to get rid of the handle out of here. Two, three, four, five. Do that, make the change over here. That, 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 and that. Save that, reform. Okay, we're here, resource, source image. I used to provide the previous state and the job it came from, but that's no longer going to work because you can now be able to grab the resource, the resource can be brought in and it can have multiple previous jobs that you want to wait on. So, I could probably, can I do that implicitly? I might be able to in the future, but not right now. What I'm going to do, 32T, is I'm going to explicitly have like the resource and then explicitly have the, all the upstream, uh, jobs where we uh, should wait on. So, uh, source image job count and pogo graphics. Okay, render graph job star p source image in jobs. Like that. Have that. Do the same thing on the destination side. Destination image upstream jobs. This is no longer the case. Uh, instead, it'll be oh, graphics. DK render graph job. St uh, star, uh, pointer star. E the job. Or just let's do it like that. And then I got to do that for all the other jobs too. So, source image, copy image is basically the same thing. These are gone. Mm. Resource upstream jobs. I just want to leave that as a const. Just be sure that we're not making modifications to these, at least the handles. When we're importing, we don't have both the resource, so P. And. Hmm. 
that when I create a import something, I need to both say like, yeah, I need to pass back both the resource and the job it came from because each downstream thing needs to say like, where did this resource come from? I yeah 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 yeah. So we got we got. Do I want to do the same thing on the way out? No, no. If it's an end of the line type job like this, then there's no point in returning the job. I still need to get like the input uh, stream jobs. Okay, that's the headers. Now I need to do changes here. So, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. grab it from up here. Source image down. Okay, so first of all, check that the resource is the correct type. We can still do that. And that, check if it's mutable, yes. We no longer check the state of the image beforehand. So these are all gone. And we'll roll on down here. This is source image upstream job count with the upstream jobs. And the resource. Destination image job count. That mm -hmm. I'm receiving it as a const, but I'm not passing it as const. It's unfortunate. Close the others. Render graph const. Does that make any changes in here? I don't think so. Seemingly not. Okay. Back to here. That's good. That's good. This is no longer the case. Instead, we don't have anything out going from here. It's the render graph job. Render graph job. Yeah. We don't have a filter for this. So the resource, the resource. The mutableness, the old state is gone. It's not the job, not this function's responsibility anymore. That source up count 
connecting source. This is over. Okay. Next. What's a required layout? This is the layout that I required it to be in, but I do use it here. So that's still necessary, yes. Resource upstream. Resource to do do do. That's it. Next. No, there's two things. It's not that anymore. It's this. This is gone. Else, he render graph. Um, equals new. Don't need that, and then this becomes the T render graph job. Just a pointer. And this is star, star, pointer. Like that. Okay. Next, presentation. The outputs. It's about here. I'll handle this is over this becomes the render graph job else that's gone then what we got the count Jobs here. Check it's the correct type. Output the estates. Not what we're looking for. Job stuff. Data inside of there. That's fine. And that. Okay, and finally, the resolve. Just all this down to here. Resource check, resource check. Mm -hmm. Mutableness. The old state is gone. I 
stream resource resource mm -hmm. oh there's an there's a return there so that's okay so I don't do any of this E render graph job that's that so that leaves a few more locations. The job here. So we have the render target. Save that, find the source here, add that there, okay. Mutableness, correctness, previous state, no longer an issue here, up to here, so P color. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Forgot about this. Um, hmm. For the case where uh, a render pass can take basically anything, hmm. Uh oh. This uh, this uh P render job. Can I just get this source? Um sorry, render target, upstream job count. What do I do? Do I pass? Ah, what do I do? Do I just enforce one? I may just have to enforce one. I will in uh, yeah okay that's why I'll just do, I'll just enforce one so I want the initial layout to be um what am I doing I'm this is the render target right so I'm writing to it so I need a pk image layout um attachment optional Yeah, it's gonna to have to be attachment optimal. Uh just not stencil. Attachment. Feedback loop attachment optimal. It's just gonna to have to be this one, whatever this one is. I want it to be that. And then I guess I can do the same thing on the way out. I I'm uh, I'm still kind of got these old final layouts, so I'll leave that for the moment. So the system should automatically convert it to that. Okay, yeah, I'm going to assume. Hope. Uh, I need to 
do one other one. Probably in the source. Way down here. Render render scene. Here we go. This and this. This just render targets, yeah. That, that, that. And then we don't have this. No, we just have the jaw. That we uh, give out. Go up to here, we got not here. Not quite. Resource, resource, mutability, mutability, previous state is gone. This is going to be the same thing where we need to make sure it's in attachment. Okay. Layout attachment optimal. And this is what that depends on. This is just depth. I'm not, I'm only doing depth here. So that color render target upstream count. I'm going from non cons to cons or figure that out in a second. E depth render target that okay oh con star con star I need to do that up here Back to the render scene. And the render graph job stuff. Just return results. E render graph job. I don't know where, there it is. So make sure that that's all going to go down until the application where of course it's going to be provided the wrong, oh, XR. XR stuff, forgot about you. XR swap chain resource. Render graph job. Got that. There's no other outputs, so just oh, there's no inputs otherwise. CPU based input. They got those. So do this stuff. Blockchain resource, we create it, we do this. If we fail, we re return that. Like we're returning this. Hmm. 
Okay, one thing, p render graph job. And then we have the output p swap chain, I'm sorry, swap chain resource. Start equals new that. File down to the application where it breaks, right? Perfect. And in here, now we get to the fun. This is where the fun begins. Okay, we got the that, that, and let's close that. Shrink this down. So we've got the render graph, great. Have this and this. So we have the photo graphics VK render graph job, render color import job. So it becomes that and that. I'm guessing Clang D decided to break. Cool. Oh, nope, there it is. It caught up. Target import job. We got that. So then we come down to here. We have a swap chain image render job where. Oh no, we're importing. Um, so got that. Got that. We don't have the uh, these output resources anymore. This is gone. Same thing here, same thing here, same thing here. Okay, whoa, 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 I'm good. getting too far ahead of myself. Clear that out. We don't have this. Instead, we have the render scene job. XR render scene job. That's what is here. We have this, we have render color image resource one. We're waiting on one job, which is the XR render target color import job. Similar thing here. One target depth image job. Now Clang decided to crash. Perfect. We don't have to do this like chair business going on anymore. Resources, same kind of deal. We're resolving the image. So this, the render, this one. And XR. Scene job. This image sources awaiting one job which is the swap chain import where and this is coming out as that this is coming out as that hmm And this is, ooh, yeah. Um, XR resolve or copy job. Whatever it is, either way, it's like that. Image resource, wait on that, this. Wait on that. Do 
that. Then export image job. So this waiting on this. Um, and then that should be it for this. Now I need to restart so I can get Clang D back. Almost. Well, we've got one thing here. Render target depth image job. Depth import job. Perfect. Sorry, which one are we talking about? Cannot different argument of render target image depth image resource resource yeah yeah. Oh, pointer. Is that? The XRs are converted, that's great. Next, we need to do this, so. Import. Job. So here we go again. We got that. We got the end color import job. This we have the import job for that. Capital I. Then we move on down to here. We're rendering. We were waiting on. This. Waiting on basically this, except it's depth. And we have it's the render scene job. Lovely. Get rid of those, we don't need them anymore. Present image resource. There goes Clang server again. We import the job. We are down here, we have resolve a copy job. Of that we have thing we're waiting on, which is the end. We're waiting on the render jaw, uh, the present no, the render scene. This is the source, and we're waiting for the presentation, which should be ready here. We got the result for copy job. That's that. Get rid of the resources. This is gone. So come on down to see that. Yeah, this this is a one to whatever thing is why I I had to play screw with this stuff for. Getting the to file thing. That's resolving that those kinds of issues, even if it's a bit more complex. But it's also more explicit, so it can be also not quite as complex. There's a lot less 
implicit behavior you have to keep in your mind because you're bringing it, you're doing it yourself. Uh, right. Got that. We want to do either resolve a copy here, so that. If you resolve you know, copy that and that, put the one. So this is the render target color image resource. This is the one. This is where I'm waiting for the same thing after the render scene, right? Yeah. The same thing here. CPU copy image job one and waiting for the image job. It's usually basically right away. Try the old resource. Get rid of that. Go down here. We have the export image render job. Get that. Waiting on. This. this has nothing to do with it. This does present image resource waiting for the resolve for copy job that to the presentation image. We're not doing that. Ooh, yeah. Render debug UI job. Add that to the bottom. We waited for that. We presented. Sorry. We bring it in as an attachment. We're going to put it out as present. Source image render. This is the job. If. Hmm. Equals code null. Handle. This will be optimized out in builds without editor mode, so that'll actually work fine. What I want to do is go down to the present. We have the resource. We're waiting on one, and it's either if not equal to null handle, then it's that or the last time I used it, which would have been here, waiting for this to complete. Then we compile, we execute, we restart so we can get Clang. Almost, almost. Resolve a copy job at pointer. Oh, this is no longer existing. This import job. Okay, hold on. Render scene job. Oh, uh, yeah. Job 
handle. Okay. Uh, we're waiting on the that and that. Okay. Let's see, we're on that. Clear out whatever I used to have. Let's see how bad this runs, if at all. Or if I just got it first try, maybe. Did I actually... Ooh, 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 no, 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 no. Problem. I just don't have this supported yet, do I? Mm hmm Hmm. Image depth stencil, read only optimal. I mean, I guess. No, come on, the attachments. Uh, right. Let me just do just uh, the depth stencil ones. So let's do case. PK image layout attachment optimal. It could be both, right? You return VK access. Try that again. Seems to be okay. I don't know if this was new or old. Just make sure it is new. Cool. So let's get all that in under like this. So that's the change. Okay, yeah, yeah. I haven't updated this in a year. Are you kidding me? When, when did I do this file last? Nine months ago. Which would have been this year. Okay, whatever. What did I do? What did I do? Um, to explicit, explicitly use up, upstream. Use explicit jobs rather than tendencies by rarity resource uh, structure types. Jobs would take in the resource handle as well as any job handles to wait on when we are.
Something like that. Okay. Uh, next. Okay, so now I really need to get started on some tests for this, uh, for this render graph stuff. I really, like, there's... There's enough complexity going on with the compilation and figuring out what jobs are uh, going to be executed and not, as well as like you know what resources and the, the the graph and all that stuff. What this is going to look like. This is I need some tests to start actually testing that like it's doing what I'm expecting it's supposed to be doing. So let's get that started. So we've got a we're at that we we'll go to fragment. Target sources, format, fragment shader. Oh, right here. It'd be here. We add that. We add um, the starting stuff. This. That we include. Run the graph. Is there anything else? I need the result. Results dot header. Okay. And then we got test tapes. And first of all, we got results. Render graph. Just render graph. Render. Oh, no handle. That's great. And then for all of these tests, sections underneath, we need to make sure that like this actually exists. So result equals render uh, for graphics. A create render graph. Not that. Require result dot value for success. And we require that null null handle. Then at the end, of course, k destroy render graph. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure that's just test oh, graphics. Okay. Okay, and we want to make sure that, and then we have two, I'll have a section or two. So start off, um, if I haven't compiled and I try to call to execute, it's going to fail, saying it's, it was never compiled, or it should, so. Execute now first being compiled. Like that. So graphics VK render graph execute the render graph. I have a I do not have a session right now, but it should not matter because we're not actually doing anything. It should it should just leave before it even requires those items. So I need to check. This is Pographics BK error not compiled. Not compiled. Then I have another one. What's the next one? If I compile a render graph with no jobs, then it can be compiled, but it will uh, say like there are no jobs to execute or something like that. So. Um, additional success because they're positive values. I mean, it completed it successfully, but there was just nothing there to do. So, yeah. Result equals oh, graphics of BK render graph compile the render graph. 
a check. Default value is photographics. PK, no jobs to compile. And then afterwards, we got this, but it'll be with no jobs to execute. Go. Do I not have no jobs to execute? It's a success. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Libs, uh, oh, uh, graphics, DK, test, test. Let's make sure we got that. Oh, ooh. these are from the fact that I am right. How did I do this? In custom main dash dash GPU. What um? Let me uh, find out what's where's LLVM pipe. Pretty sure the first uh, device is Navi twenty one. The second one is that. So okay, there's still. Whatever is going on with this, I need to actually delve into Mesa to figure this out. I want to know why you're doing this to me. Otherwise, it'll pass. So that's great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that as the initial render graph tests. It's not it's not testing much. Uh, am I actually running code coverage? I am. So I can just do make dash day test. Sorry, not that. POV test. Oh, graphics. Okay. Right. Let's uh, turn off address for the moment. Uh, and otherwise, put this in. So. Implement uh, initial under graph tests. Testing the initial and the behavior behavior when compiling in this state. So with that, uh, next I can start doing. Mm, okay, I want to do. I'm thinking. I want to be able. I I should be able to track. The number of jobs that are active. So like. When I'm querying a render graph, like in in uh, an executed state or a compiled state, I don't want to return the entire list. I want to just return like X number. I need to know what that number is that I need to return in a simple fashion, simpler fashion. So render graph here, I'm going to make some modifications. So first of all, I need to go up to the render graph itself, not the job, this. So it's, it'll be compiled, and I have you know, two, p num execute num executable jobs, num jobs, num Executing jobs. Something like that. That starts up at zero. That's plain enough. 
So what I want to do is go down to the compi compilation, which is not here, which is this around here. Okay. So I have UN32T num new jobs equals zero. And every time um, adding a new job to be processed, num uh, increment that num new jobs plus that. And at the end, I do that p render graph num equals num new jobs. The idea being, like, I can compile something, I get a certain number of jobs that are going to be added to be executed, and then if I add some more jobs after that point, like, then recompile, I'm only adding, you know, n number of jobs that were previously not uh, set for execution, flagged for execution. So, yeah, that should give me a, keep me with a fairly accurate number of items. That should also mean that if I go down to this. Okay, see, this is wrong. This is just saying whether or not there were jobs, period, existing. If I was to do something where I'm compiling with jobs, but none of them are required to be actually run because they're like all read-only or something like that, or flagged as not required, then this is not going to be correct. Okay, let me actually make a test for that first. Section. With only none. Then require jobs. Leaves with jobs to execute. Like that. So. I need pro graphics. PK render graph resource. Resource. I'll handle. Okay. I need to create some jobs. I need. I don't want to put it here because that'll be too much. So let's do. Render graph jobs. HPP. Yeah. Put that there. We'll include that. 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 Okay. All right. Let's do this. Make to include. I also need to include graphics bk uh, render graph the image stuff. Okay, we are going to have a static set create image job or import image job. I'll call it that for now. So for graphics to pay render graph uh, on star job name for number of job is required. Image name. Initial layout. And then the resource star, the image. So got speak a job. Oh, sorry, create job. Moving down. Okay. Render graph, the job, the import image. I'll kind of look at this. I need these two things together. Do I? Image state, the initial outgoing state. Yeah, yeah. Something like this. Uh, 
Um, hmm. Yeah. Include that. Put that out. No, that's not going to work. Uh, return. Well, value equals that. Okay. This it's an image. It's a that. I don't actually. I'm not actually going to create anything here. So I'm not using it. So it's that. There's no view either. There's uh, the format, which is VK format. We'll just say it's that. The extent equals VK 2D that. Layout is the initial layout. If I need the free data function, which is this, then I need to create the resource. So whether it's mutable or not, that's actually something I need to do. Mutable image. So I need to pass that through. I have the P image name instead. We create it. I guess it's just basically, I'm basically just doing almost a copy and paste of this, aren't I? Then why don't I just use that? Initial layout, mutable image. Uh, that, that, null, null, blah, 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 blah. There's no semaphores, there's no imported. Yeah, yeah, I okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna use this, which is <sighs> so I got that. I need to include this. Anything else like Oh, is it required? Do I have a required thing for it? I don't. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I will still need this. As opposed to this. Resource, new image. So about to here. Got that. Um. Require a job is mutable is based on mutable image. There's none here. There's nothing here. There's okay null handle here. Passing the create job here. Okay, that brought over here. So create image. Go to render graph. We got the job name, which is going to be I don't know. None required to import image. It's not required. It's the image name is 
pass me Mitch. Initial layout. Say so it's undefined. Res uh, not resource. Whether it's mutable, which is true, or false, really. It's an actually matter in this case. And I need the actual job. So I need to I need to make sure check. Yeah, check result dot dot value is that I want to make sure that the image resource is not equal null handle. And the job as well, it was added. All right. I added a job, but it's not required, so it should not be compiled through. So, but it should still come through with a compilation, right? So result equals render graph compile. That's great. Render graph. This should be. It did compile. Realistically, if I compile it and there's no job to execute, I should return this. To indicate that. Yeah, okay. Um, but, okay, first of all, if I try to execute, Sorry, not VK. Oh, null handle. And that should net me uh, this. So right now, this is going to seg fault. Okay, not, not great. Let's see, fo, dk, dk, let's uh, debug this. So, like, ad I'm adding tests and I'm finding issues. Just both. I mean, yay, I'm finding issues, but boo, there are issues. The usual dilemma. Okay. This is on something else entirely, isn't it? Right. Because it went... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it went past this point because there are, are technically jobs here, but I'm not actually going to run any of them. So it went past this. So I want to change this. This uh, this is what I was doing in the first place. Uh, I want to change this to like, if num executing jobs is zero, then return that. And uh, this not equal to zero, which is the normal case, do that. Otherwise, do uh, not that. Return this.
I mean, it did successfully compile, but there were just no jobs to execute. So it just should skip out early and perfect. Uh, right. After compile compilation, do that. So, that makes executing jobs. Set to be executed, okay. The, that, that, that and that, and that. Okay, I can do another test right here, which is to say like this. A required job. Files successfully and can be executed. Something like that. So we do basically the same thing as this, but when I do this, it's compiled. So it's just full success. With, yeah, that's the job part, so that. Like this. I can't test execution because I don't actually have stuff to work with there. But that does happen, which is great. Based on this, okay, okay, okay. Close these to the right. Okay, I've added some Ah, tests that will mm, okay added number executable render graph jobs. In a on the read on the read right. Resources at the graph and any job mark as required. So now state track was whether track was compiled and track whether now a variable itself to get one number. 
Dark School. For more Azure feedback, post compilation system at both the both the at both compilation and execution. Oh, that's one too many. No, oh, that's perfect. Are any jobs we actually execute? Okay. Next. All right. Uh, next, I will be doing. Let's make things a little bit clearer. Uh, that processed boolean I got in here. So I want to change this to be like you know this is like an execute flag. Actually, I probably do what? Maybe I want to do a bit flag. Uh, maybe later. Just for now, change that to that. There, there. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, yes. No, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so this is just going to be a like real quick thing to rename. Boolean from process to execute. The behavior primary behavior initiated. Okay. So next would be I need I need some ability to retrieve to figure out whether or not a job is set to be executed. So I need like a, just a query function, a very small basic query function, which will be used when I'm like visualizing or graphing or getting statistics about what I'm doing. So if I, okay, I add a job here, let's say graphics export, I have a Boolean, which is just, you know, oh, graphics VK render graph job. To execute to execute, uh, I'll just say that. Oh, graphics PK render graph job. Grab that. Find where that is. Just above. Just above it. I need to extract auto star P. Job equals render graph job from handle for the job. Simple enough. Turn the job of for the moment. Okay. If that's the case, then what I can do here is sorry not here here i can say i can check after compile graph to execute and that's from the import image job that's false here, and it will be true down here. Uh, 
great. Now, wonder how much uh, of the code I'm covering. Everything, you know, other than execute, obviously. Okay, let's have a look in this. So, graphics VK render graph. I'm half the functions, 28, 30% of what's going on here. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. Mostly it's, okay, just a bunch of stuff in here. Compile. And the execute as I expected. Okay. Okay, let's move that off and let's commit this bit at least. So Yep, commit. Executability render graph jobs. Mm -hmm. Just just that by itself. That should be nice and simple enough. Okay. probably add some tests around that then so what do I want I need to do number I think so I got no I got that I got that okay so I want to check like so that I have I have this create job which does create the resource. I want to see if I have like this not be required, but the one downstream of it is required. Then it pulls back and pulls this one in, right? False, undefined, yes. This is non mutable. This is a write only. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Job use a resource. Then the one is also not executed. Something like that. So we need this. We go down to about this point. We have that. And then I'm going to need a function that consumes this image basically so i need another function here locally that i can use mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so result set single image resource job Run the graph. I'm going to the uh, the name of the job. Required job. Graphics VK resource. Get layout. Incoming VK image layout out going layout. Render graph. I got the resource mode. The image string count. Drop count. I got the job star p which upstream jobs second so properly 
uh, set relationships, the resource at least, and that leaves the just the last job, pointer, pointer, mm, job. Okay, I have two image states. New graphics BK image state times two. First one is the incoming state, so that's S type equals uh, render graph resource structure type image state dot layout equals initial incoming sorry layout and outgoing. I need to free this on exit. And then I need to add the job to the graph, which is this stuff again. But I don't have the image resource. Job. But that, we've got the resource count, resource state. So this is this, which is p image state of zero. One, this is the image passed in. This is I need do I I need I need the mode. Is this that? Static. Okay. Now with that I should be able to go back to here and I can actually create like a basically downstream of that. Create image job. And Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Results equals that. We've got the new job. It's the render graph. Let's say this is what a read. Is it? It doesn't matter. Um, times new job. Import image job, downstream job, use job, downstream required, image use job, this is the required job, uh, the resource is the image resource, the layout is, it doesn't actually matter, or does that matter, the resource layout is what? I need, uh, what was it, read, write, read on, it doesn't matter, it's the job that's required, not anything else. I've got one, and image, import image job. So null handle. We do this. I want to make sure it was successfully added. I want to make sure this is null equal pro null. And 
Then we get to the compile stage. We compile, we make sure that both the import image job, because this is not a required job, but this one is. So this, because this is required, then it's going to go back upstream and say, hey, this is also required. So both of these should execute. Just check that, we check this. They both execute correctly. Not quite. Well, that is unfortunate. This job is required, so it should be doing that one. So I got something's wrong. Something, someone went wrong. So let's uh, close all these. Let's go down to, I presume, maybe, uh, that's the mode. Oh, required? No, it's there. It was added. Yeah. Okay. Let's check it. Let's go into. Let's debug it. Figure out the issue. We're here processing. We have one job which is required. We push that on. That's great. Go. We're on the job, which is the downstream required job. That's correct. This is required. This will be set to execute in a second. That's great. We want to go through the resources. Ooh, did I not put the resource in? I have one resource state, which is that, 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 that. No, no. Oh, I have. I'm. Sorry, down here, resource state, yes. One resource state, da 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 da, yes. Get rid of that. But in the meantime, we're going to here, we're going into about here. So this is, this job is downstream required setting it to execute we're going to go through all the resources that are in here which is this one we have no upstream i did not set it did i dot uh yep here we go Cancel that. Um, not sure why it's taking a moment, but now it works. Okay, so it's just a me issue. So downstream job for is making both of them to be compiled. That's great. Hmm. What about, okay, uh, that's, that, okay, and then I have another one, what if I have, like, another one, after that point, we have, like, that, we have image use job, and we have a second job afterwards, which is not required, not required, image use job two. Do basically the same thing. This one is after this one. Make sure that runs. That one, ex these two execute, and this one will not. So it's only this and upstream. It's not downstream as well. 
So come on down to this image use job and two check false. Jobs upstream required. Are executed. Upstream of required jobs are executed. Downstream are not. So yeah, yeah true, true, false. Okay. All uh, right. Oh, we don't quite want that. All right, one next would be section where I wanted. Okay, now I get to the even more interesting parts where I'm going to test like where it branches. So like the one job, one import image job is feeding into two downstream jobs. And I need, need to make sure that the incoming and outgoing of those jobs are the same. Like they're both, they're read only, and they both have the in, same in and out uh, states, I believe. So, a resource is consumed by multiple um, green jobs. The jobs should be all read only and have the same states incoming outgoing states so we get back up to the image create that's almost always going to be the same Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. So first of all, I need to check uh, read, write, read, read only, read, write. Okay, I need to check the modes. I need the, I need the correct state, which is read only, read only, same states both ways. Yeah. When they match, so we go that way. So image read job. We got two image read jobs like this. Put that here and here. One and two. So read only, read only. True and true. They're both used. That's false. Uh, same, 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 same. So this should compile correctly and it should all be set marked for execution. Simple. Modes when layouts do not win incoming when Modes are read only. Not all read only. So if this is read only, this one's read write. A mix of and read write. That and that. This should fail. Should equal foe. Do I even have compile failure? I don't think I even have actually properly check if
when I go, that's adding the job, go down to compile here. Next use wave, empty, break. Upstream. If it's greater than one. I just don't even check it at all. So, I need an error code of some sort. So, he out blank states. Okay, so that's the outgoing state. I'm checking the incoming state right now, so I'll just kind of focus here. If there's more than one, then I need to, first of all, if uh, the P incoming state, wait, is this starting at one? Okay, if, okay, yeah, yeah. If next use wave zero <clears throat> mode equals read write, then I need to return some error to result whoa, graphics VK error. Do I have a good use or uh, error code for this? Not compatible pass. I don't think so. Um, error. Render graph incompatible state. Kind of slap that into there for a the moment. Sorry about that. Not quite. If, and it's kind of similar for each of the other ones. If any of them... Okay, no. It's only if there's more than one that I have to worry about this. If there's only one, then of course I can have, you know, read-write mode. No problem. It's only if there's more than one in the next use wave to actually run, then I, I can't have multiple writing, possibly writing to the same resource at the same time. That's not going to end well. It'll end interestingly, but not probably as expected. So that uh, goes to that. So in that case, I'm expecting, going back to the tests, for this to become this, and these to all be marked as check false, check false, check false. Oh, these jobs are marked to be executed, but the whole thing is not executable. Uh, can I get is compiled like a is compiled call? Or the render graph. Oh, graphics PK render graph compiled. No, no, I won't even. No, 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 no. It fails. It's not compiled. That's all that matters for now. I'll think about the uh, other function another time. So that did not work. Interestingly, true, true. On um, these are both. Oh, uh, they weren't at the same time. That worked. Read, write, read only, and read, write. Are all we don't write. That should fail. Same thing. 
Then I want to do... So let's say these are read-only. And these do not have the same initial state. VK image layout. Uh, what? Yeah, sure, whatever this is. Incoming. Differ. Then we get the same thing. Read only, read only that. And then when the outgoing states differ, so that moves down to there. That's incorrect. And it actually seg faults instead. Or sig aborts. Because I don't. Okay, yeah, yeah. If that's the case, or that's the case, or that's the case, or that's the case. I don't need to check rewrites here, because that would have already been checked by this. Then the next wave would. Yeah. One of these is not quite correct. When the outgoing states differ. True, true. Import, import, import. Okay. Let's see if I just run into here. Not great. Stop. Stop. I don't care about this point. Okay, now I care about this right here. We're going through. We have two jobs. Go through. They're going to be set for. I'm processing the jobs. And it's the last one. There are three jobs. Okay, now we're on the resource mode. So first of all is the initial. Then we add the waves. We've got two. Ooh, right. Because I'm checking the out upstream like this. I need... See, I'm testing the outgoing on the next wave as opposed to like here. I need to check it here. P upstream reference, P outgoing state. P incoming state. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something like that. T downstream reference. So this isn't. Hmm. The outgoing state. The outgoing. State. I need to make sure that the. I need to. I need to compare against the first one. I do. This is used down here as well. Yeah, yeah. 
So about that. Uh, P downstream outgoing reference. No, I can do this. I can do this better. Zero compared to I. I can do that. Touch times that should cover the case. Yes. Okay, and then how's the coverage look now? So we had, what, 30-ish percent? And now it's 45-ish percent, so we're about to the halfway mark. We're... Okay, I need to check for incoming. So it's going from multiple to one or multiple to multiple uses. I don't have a check for that one yet. That one hasn't succeeded yet. This, yeah, okay. I have not created this one yet. And of course, I'm not doing anything down here quite yet either. Okay. So, I think... Commit this, then, okay, next is the multiple to single, multiple to multiple. So. Or comp uh, image. Source use case loose. To one to many job a resource is used in a one to many job. Um, pattern status that environment. Then, oh wait, I didn't actually put it in. What did I put it, what did I commit? What did I just commit? Oh, and I need to add, okay, so I, I don't know what I committed. I added that, I added that, okay, yeah, yeah. And then I need to add these other ones. I need to add the actual results for this. Result, results. C. I'm gonna have to clean this up as well. Test results. Okay, I got that. Let me take uh take a bit of a drink break, and I'll be RB, and carry on with uh, more checking off more sections of compilation, the uh, the one the many to one case and the many to many case, and then gotta deal with testing for execution. Yeah. As well as actually having some actual content to, uh, yeah, yeah. As well as a uh, case where out the outgoing layout does not match the incoming layout in in several of them, several of those cases. All right. So uh, next is the case of the easier one, which will be mini to one. How do I do that? Take it back to this. Do 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 do. When a resource is a one to many, 
Job relationship. So downstream jobs should all be read only and have the same incoming outgoing states. Okay. Next section will be when a resource is in a many to one job relationship. no issues because when it's already gone from a one gone into a mini relationship then going to mini to one should basically be absolutely fine but i still need to make sure that the mini yeah yeah the upstreams are all done correctly so uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, i need to create the image. I have that, I have that. Image use middle. Middle. And then I need one for the end job. Many job. Many job. One job. Do, are there more than one case for this? I already know that everything in the mini group is read only and all the same states. Cause I did that when I was going into that wave. So leaving that wave should basically, that would mean actually that I wouldn't even need to check the current use wave if it's greater than one. I already know Many to many. No, but that's if I go to many and many. Okay, yeah, I don't need this. There is no case where that should be activating. So let's shrink that down to that case. So let's get the two middle jobs. Which is image use many job. Mini job two. And then here, results equals, I need a array. Actually, I can do that like this, right? I can do this can be the array. Image use many jobs. There's two of them. They're blank. We'll do that. So it's that zero. Zero. One. One. Then I get to the image use one job, which is using two from the image use many jobs. Oh, there we go. Should be able to just do that as size as well. This is required. This is not. This is not. False, 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 true. So this, using these, well, okay, these are going to fire, aren't they? Hmm, okay, for the moment they're going to fire, so that's to be expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're going to compile, there should be no issues here. 
success. And then we have the X. Gold firing, got that, got that. And finally, the one job. Come on, there we are. Okay, this did not go as expected. Why? Downstream required image use job zero. One. This is unfortunate. So, why is this one failing? Because of this. This doesn't really matter. This can be read only at read write. Okay. So, that case is dealt with. Now the only other big case is the mini to mini relationship. First mini reduce job. And then I have and then the second many use jobs. We're basically going to do the same thing as this. Second. And these are using both the first. To go. Where the second Second many jobs, so it's a many to many relationship using these. May want to reorganize these a little bit. So 
So this should be fine, as long as it's kind of following the same pattern as before. No. Oh, right. I need something to actually require the jobs to be run. All right, so I got that. I want to move this up there. Move this up to here. All read only and thing incoming outgoing for say. Okay, that checks out. Now I need to do basically the same thing as up here, so I split this to the right. Um, <laughs> layout match. That was that case, so now I need a mixture of the modes are a mix of read only and read write. Should fail. So that, and we got that. Should not right. Yep. Then I get another case where it's read only. But it has a different oh no, one one no I'll read right. That should fail in the same way. In the incoming states. States differ. So it's read only. Read only, but this has a different whatever. And then it's when the outgoing states differ. Okay. Let's see, can I move? That's a minute one. Move that forward. Yeah, I got that right. Going down to here. We're still good. Okay. So that basically should... Okay, let's rerun CCOV. See where we are. On... Uh, render graph, so we were 48%. It should still basically be 48%. Yeah, okay. Uh, I did eliminate some bits of compilation. So all that's really left is that, and then I gotta do tests for execution. Alright. So I'll leave that there for tonight, then.
I got a good chunk. I got basically half the file tested, covered with coverage. Or at least half of the, what was it exactly? Half of branch coverage. So that's pretty good, I guess, render graph. Half of line coverage, half of branch coverage, half of region coverage. Not bad. There's a, there's a lot of things I'm not covering still. I really need to. 31% overall. Mm -hmm. Actually, I wonder how much of the entire everything am I doing? Okay. Let's bring that file. Okay. So overall, 28, 30%. Ugh. Not great at all. Although I'm going to guess a lot of that is... You see, these are all zeros, but there's not that much in them. The big files, I think, really are in the graphics section. And the resource... Oh, yeah, the auto-generated files are a lot of stuff. For reading and writing to binary and YAML and stuff. That is not great. I may want to try to figure out how to... Uh, I may want to exclude them since they are auto-generated. And you can't really cover them very easily. And it's very easy to fix all of them all at once. Yeah, this is the same thing, isn't it? Auto-generated? Yeah. May need to look into that. Yeah, I really think those auto-generated files for reading and writing to YAML and binary are really dragging down the percentage. But I can, I'll probably exclude them because, like I said, like those are pretty difficult to test and they change a lot. Maybe. I'll think about it. Anyways, render graph, refined. Added more tests, that's great. So until next time, where I'm probably going to carry on with some more render graph stuff, getting more than half coverage. So until then, cheers.